Hello everybody, welcome back to another Gordon Aviation YouTube video and today we have Washington Dulles International Airport update part 11 with a very special guest, Citrus Aviation from the Citrus Aviation YouTube channel. Say hi. Hey, what is up everybody? Citrus Aviation here with yet another video and today I am on Gordon's Aviation here with a Washington Dulles International Airport update. And yes, thank you for joining us Citrus and today we're going to get started in the video. We got a United Express CRJ200, which will be heading out to Wilmington, North Carolina, which is actually an airport that I did pass on my way back home from Maryland um, last week. All right, next up here we have a United CRJ200 in the, the Continental Module delivery, and this aircraft will be heading out to Greensboro. And here we have a United um, Star Alliance 737-800 which just arrived in from Chicago O'Hare. Next up, we have a United CRJ200. This is another new livery one from Giant Jets. This aircraft is taxed out for a departure to Columbia. We got the United Express E145, who will be heading out to Knoxville. And here we have a United A319, which arrived in from Newark, and will be overnighting here and going out to Houston Intercontinental tomorrow. Next up, here we have this United Boeing 757-200 in the Hall Art Heelivy. This aircraft is preparing for a flight to Los Angeles International Airport. This aircraft is a gorgeous model by Gemini Jets. Obviously, the NG models one is nicer, but this one is also pretty nice. I have the California Hall Art Heel, and this one is also pretty cool as well. And here we have the British Airways A350-1000, which is coming in from its later night flight from London Heathrow. Now, these usually um, t go in around 9 o'clock. They come in from Heathrow around 9 o'clock and then leave around 11-ish. Um, this flight is operating on a Dreamliner right now, but I do not have a Dreamliner because they're very hard to find and expensive. Um, but yeah, like I said, he just arrived in from London Heathrow. Next up here, we have a United Boeing 737-800. This aircraft just arrived in from San Diego. And he'll go out to Newark later. And here we have the United 787-8 in the Continental livery, which is taxiing out for a flight to Athens in Greece. This route will be starting, I think, in mid-June, around that time frame, due to um, Athens opening up their borders to um, vaccinated people. And yeah, I know last update, I did forget which country Acre was in. I did Google it. It was Ghana. That is a bit embarrassing, considering I am a pretty big geography buff. But I kind of get camera wet at it sometimes. But anyway, he's taxing out for Athens. Next up, we got the United 767-300. I believe this one is in the new livery, and he is here from Zurich. Here we have the United Airlines 777-200 in the new livery, which arrived in from San Francisco, and will be heading out to Frankfurt on the late night flight in a few hours. Next up, here we have this United Boeing 787-9. He's just delivered. He was just delivered from Boeing. And um, he is currently loading up with a new flight crew, and they'll be heading out for delivery to San Francisco, where he will start his international services. All right, and here we have the United Express Embraer ERJ-170, which is taxiing out for a flight to Detroit. Next up here we have this United Express E-175, operated by SkyWest. He just came in from Raleigh Dome Olio, and he came to the hangout here to check out a blown tile. Here we have the Air Canada Express ERJ-175 in the... New livery, which, if you know me, you know my opinions on the um, Air Canada new livery. It's not the best. But um, anyway, he's taxiing out for a flight to Toronto Pearson after arriving in from Montreal Trudeau. Next up here we have this Delta CRJ-700, who will be operating on a 900 route to Boston. All right, and here we have the brand new NG Models April releases, um, Southwest 737-700 with the um, split winglets um, in the Canyon Blue livery. He arrived in from Chicago Midway and will be heading out to Atlanta, Hartsfield, Jackson, or Citrus Aviation Airport. Now, I am really excited to have this model. Mine actually did come a few days early, and I have another new NG April model in this update as well. We got the American Eagle CRJ700 who came in from Charlotte Douglas. This is currently the only CRJ700 route they have. Yes, it is an Air France one. Because I'm too poor to afford the actual Next one. Up, we have the best aircraft in the entire update. This is the Delta Airlines Airbus A321S, who will be heading out to Atlanta Hartsfield Jackson International Airport or my Oslo Airport. And here we have the Swiss Airbus A330 300, which will be heading out to Zurich. 
Now, Swift, they're not operating this route yet. They were actually going to start in 2020, but we all know how that year went. Um, really not the best for aviation and international travel. But hopefully soon, um, Swift will actually start um, routes to Zurich. But like I said, he will be heading out to Zurich. Next up, we got the FedEx 757-200, who will be heading out to Memphis. And here we have another new special plane. We have the April NG Models releases, um, DHL 757-200 in the Jeremy Clarkson Grand Tour livery, or the Flying Orangutan. Now, I bought this not because DHL flies to um, to Dulles. They don't. They usually fly to Baltimore from Cincinnati. But I just bought it for the novelty because of, you know, I've been, a to I've been an avid old Top Gear um, fan and a Grand Tour fan and the new, um, I forget the name of it, but the new show that they have going on now. But um, he'll be flying, he'll, he came in from Cardiff, let's just say, you know, he's got um, Jeremy, um, yeah, Jeremy, James, and Mace, and Richard's cars on them, and they're going to be doing an America special. And he's just parked here until they come back to Dulles. And unfortunately, this airport update has to come to an end. But the final aircraft for this update is the UPS 767-300ER winglet list, um, which arrived in from Louisville and will be heading out to Louisville. Now, they usually fly um, 763 winglet or A300 freighters in. We usually don't get this um, version. But it's the only UPS aircraft I have because the regular 763 it's hard to find, and the A310, or A300 freighter, I should say, is really expensive. But um, for the final aircraft, he came in from Louisville, and I'll be heading back out to Louisville. That basically does conclude this update, but I am going to show you a behind-the-scenes kind of how, of how this worked. Basically, that lamp right there provided all the beautiful light. I did change out the lamp, because um, that just had a bit too much warm light, the other lamp I had. This one has a nice, more cool glow to it. And here we have... Um, my iPad, which is running Discord, with um, Citrus Aviation on it. So, that's all brilliant. And but you can see the um, the tiny terminal I have. Hopefully, the guy that I paid a very significant amount of money will eventually um, ship me my terminal. Hope he didn't scam me. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, that does include this airport update. Um, Citrus, do you want to say a couple things? Yeah, it was my pleasure to join for the update. And... Uh... Maybe we can do more of these, and uh, who knows, there might be more in the future, and I do enjoy coming on to other people's YouTube channels to be in their updates. And uh, with that being said, I'll hand it over to Gordon to finish the update. All right, well, that does include this update. If you want to see more cool content like this, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.